Hey everyone, Chris with Dan Foss here. Today we're gonna look at how to create a widget in the screen editor. I have a DP730 that I'm programming and I've already got a main screen definition that I've added. And I'm gonna show you how to create a widget. First thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna add a folder. I'm gonna name it widgets. And a widget is really just a screen definition. So I'm gonna add a new screen definition to my widgets folder and just double click on it to open it up. And I'm gonna create a widget that's a configurable button. So this is gonna be a pretty simple one where I just have an image list with two different images that are gonna be the background for my button. So I'm gonna apply my two images to my image list and these are gonna be my button backgrounds. We'll get that put up in the right place. And now I just wanna check and see the size of my images. So that's in the layout properties. And there we go, 64 by 64. So since I don't want my widget to take up all the real estate on the screen, I'm gonna go resize the screen definition to be the same size as my button. So now I have a widget that is made up of just an image list. And the next thing we're gonna do is add a signal. And I'm gonna call this signal index because I'm gonna use this to change between the active index in my image list. So I'll head down to the active index and set that signal. Now we'll hop over in the definitions tab to the main screen. You can see it opened a new tab. And this is where I'm gonna drag in a couple instances of my new widget that I've created. I could bring in as many as I want, but I'm gonna show you how we can use that signal that we added as an input value. And I'm just gonna set a constant for that right now. I could drive that from my application, but this way you can see uh, what the different images look like right away in the screen editor. So that's it. We've created a simple widget. Be sure to check out some of our other videos on the screen editor and other parts of Plus One Guide.